want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video i really hope you enjoy it and if you do enjoy it then please hit the subscribe like this video to help support my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so in this video i'm going to tell you my christmas wish list now I don't expect to have any of this for Christmas. Maybe some, maybe all, or maybe none. I don't know. I don't care. Um, this is just a list of things that I would like this year. If anyone was thinking of buying me a present. Or this is just a gift guide to help you guys with some ideas of things to buy for your loved ones this year. So the first thing on my wish list this year is some custom Air Force trainers. These here. Um, so you can get these in all different designs, you can get Louis Vuitton ones, Dior ones, all different ones. I think these are stunning. Um, everyone loves a pair of fresh white Air Forces, nothing better than a fresh pair of trainers. And these are then custom made, so I think these are a really good present. You can get these from all different places, Instagram usually do really good ones, um, and they're all different kinds of prices, so just find one that fits within your price range. So the next thing on my wish list this year is these Louis Vuitton boots. I have been obsessing over these all year. Um, they're absolutely stunning and I hope they are under my Christmas tree this year. Some of these items are really expensive. I do know that and um, I know some people's, budgeted, some people's budgets are a lot smaller than this. Um, so I am going to be doing another gift guide with 50 different ideas of what to get your loved one this year with different price tag range so the next thing the third thing on my list is these dior trainers i know i'm obsessed with shoes i am obsessed with shoes bags anything like that i just i've got a mad obsession and i'm a bit of a hoarder so i have got a lot but these dior trainers are absolutely stunning i love them the fourth thing on my list is this bum vase. Now, this is probably not to everybody's taste, but I, as soon as I seen this, I just fell in love with it. I think it's just so different. It's not something that you see all the time. And it's just something about it that I just, I, I, I love it. I just think it's just so cool. So I would really love one of these. They're quite expensive for a vase. I think they're about £60, £70 for a vase. The These ones are just like, you. if you type in on Google, bum vase, different ones will come up i think this one you can get on etsy i love etsy that's a really good place to find presents um it's spelled e-s-t-y so that's a really good place um but these vases are on there but the real ones i think they're like 400 pounds or something silly like that but you can get these ones for around 70 odd pounds so that's not too bad Six 50 60 it is expensive for a vase but it's a staple piece piece and i just think it's lush so that's what i love the next thing is expensive and i don't expect to have this under my tree so i don't think i've been that good this year but it is this dior necklace christian dior necklace this is stunning i've seen it on so many different celebrities and the reason they've got one is because they're celebrities and they can afford it and i'm not but there's no harm in putting it on my wish list eh? that's the whole point of these things you know who can stop you from dreaming i'm not hurting anyone if i want to dream that i'm gonna have one of those then that's what i'll do so leave me alone <laughs> so yeah this necklace the next thing, again, another expensive thing. I don't know who I think I am. I don't know who I think Santa is, what I think he's bringing me. But the next thing on my list is a MacBook. I'd love one of these for Christmas. Um, if you've got a big budget this year and you want to get someone something quite expensive, then a MacBook is an ideal present um, for editing and all sorts of stuff like that. I just think it would just be really, really handy. Some sort of laptop I do need to get this year, but um, this would be the ideal one. Number seven is to travel. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed, that we're going to be able to travel again next year. Um, I did manage to go a few places this year, but it's not the same. Everything's a bit, you know, off. 
so next year my wish list i hope to be able to travel now something that you could get someone is a little weekend away somewhere um trip to paris something small however on my wish list this year for next year i would like to go to australia america and new zealand these are my three big goals for next year so please pray for georgia please number eight is this law of attraction planner i wanted this last year but i didn't get one so i'm probably gonna be getting myself one this year um law of attraction planner is absolutely amazing um i love the law of attraction anyway but this planner just helps you plan your life and your year to a t even literally it has hourly slots where you do this at one o'clock this at two o'clock this at three o'clock i need that in my life because i'm just <laughs> 100 mile an hour i always got a list but it's not you know to the point where it's like time schedule that is goals that is something else i'm living for it um number nine is this travel light up mirror i think this is great so handy especially when you're going away um you get to hotels and you know the lighting is awful so these little mini mirrors that light up like a hollywood mirror oh my god that is the best present someone please get it for me thanks <laughs> next on uh, number 10 is a private number plate so i think this is great for somebody as a present i really want a private number plate i'm trying to wait until i get a new car um because i just don't think it would be the same if i just put a private number plate on my little car that i've had forever i want to get a nice new car so when i get a new car i am putting a picture of the uh number plate that i want because once it's gone it's gone so i'm not showing anyone what it looks like but um, I have got my eye on a private number plate and that I think is a really nice present for somebody. Number 11 is a large HB London travel case. So I've got this one, I've got it in a small already, but I really want the big one. Um, honest to God, the amount of times I've been looked at in the airport because I'm going with this like special, they think I think I'm famous or something. I'm walking around with this customized travel case. I got the um, marble one, but I would like the pink marble one with maybe just say Georgia or something on there. This is from a company called HB London and they're on Instagram. Um, that is a lovely present. They are expensive. I'll just say they are expensive, but they're worth it. It's Christmas and fingers crossed we're going to be able to travel again. So... We need a new case. Next is a Polaroid camera. I really want one of these. I think they're fab. Um, especially these days, like you take a picture and you're like, oh my God, no, do it again, do it again, do it again. And you end up taking about a hundred different pictures. Like these Polaroid, Pol how do you say them? Pol Polaroid, Polaroid, Pi Polaroid. Oh, don't know. Anyway, one of those. Um, it's in the moment. Take the picture. That's that's what it is that's what it comes out as and that's your picture and i just think sometimes it's nothing quite like the real deal in the moment photo i think that would be a really good present um number 13 is this giant teddy bear i seen it in costco a couple of weeks ago and i absolutely loved it it is huge i mean huge if you see my come shop with me to costco you'd have seen me trying to get it out of the basket um it is the cutest thing ever and i probably wouldn't have anywhere to store it and my mother would absolutely go nuts if i brought it home but if you've got the room get one because it's just so cute especially if you're a single lady like me like it's just nice to cut you it can be your boyfriend love that for me um number 14 is these victoria secret pajamas you can't go wrong with a pair of pajamas for christmas but these ones there's just something about them they're like pink silk stripy they're quite expensive as well for a pair of pajamas i think they're like 60 pounds or something silly but now's the time to be asking for these kinds of things when someone else is paying for them so get yourself some victoria secret pajamas hun <laughs> Number 15 is, now don't laugh, a piece of land. 
yes so basically i think that's amazing like you haven't got you can sp spend as much or as little as you like depending on the piece of land whatever it is anything could happen say they wanted to build a mcdonald's and you own that piece of land they're gonna have to you have to haggle you to get it off you so that could you could say no not unless you give me a million pounds you ain't having it they'd be murder that could that could be good and another thing you get called a lord or a lady once you own a piece of land your name gets changed you become a lord or a lady i need to be a lady lady georgia perfect for me yes someone buy me a piece of land <laughs> Number 16 is a Hotel Chocolate Chocolate Machine. Hotel Chocolate Hot Chocolate Making Machine. <laughs> oh, I got there in the end. This is quite expensive again, but it. If you've had Hotel Chocolate Chocolate, you'll know it's the best chocolate in the world. And when they do a hot chocolate making machine there's some um, special hot chocolate i mean we're stuck in we got we can't go out we just got to be having the best hot chocolates in the world so i want a hot chocolate hotel chocolate chocolate hot chocolate making machine <laughs> oh thank god i was inserted a picture so you can see what i'm on about because i obviously can't say it number 17 is some perfume perfume's always a good idea for somebody my favorite one and i'm running out of it at the moment is the carolina herrera perfume so this one is beautiful if you're thinking about getting someone some perfume then that's a really good shout number 18 is a yankee candle can't go wrong with a yankee candle i love them perfect or one from um joe malone or white company any of these candles you can't go wrong unless you're buying one for my mother and she's got no sense of smell so give it to me because it'd be wasted number 19 is a white company diffuser oh my god this looks so nice white diffuser and the scents from the white company are always absolutely stunning so i think this is a brilliant gift again with the with like with like with a candle but this is in a diffuser form and I just think that's a brilliant gift and I want one for Christmas. And number 20, last on my list, is um, some White Company slippers. These are so soft. I bought some for my stepsister for her birthday and they are the most squishiest, fluffiest, luscious slippers ever. You can't go wrong with a pair of slippers, can't go wrong with a pair of pyjamas. Everyone needs them for Christmas. So if you if that's just going to be what you're getting them, then why not go for the little bit more expensive ones? Just to give their feet a little bit of luxury this time of year. Tis the season to be staying in, in your white company slippers, drinking your hotel chocolate, hot chocolate in your Victoria Secret pyjamas. And your name's Lord. I mean, lady yes that's what i want with my dior necklace around my neck planning out my life in my law attraction planner so that's where i'm gonna be on christmas day <laughs> so that's everything on my wish list i hope this video helped you a little bit on giving you some ideas of what to get someone for christmas this year um I will be filming this week a, another Christmas gift guide idea list. Um, there's 50 things on that list, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. And have a merry, merry Christmas, everybody. Bye.